Hey guys, I recently made a video where I showed you how you can implement a Rate Me button into your app, which when clicked opens the Google Play Store entry of your app, so the user can leave a rating there. But in other apps you might often see something like this. A dialog that appears after a couple of days or a couple of starts and asks you to rate this app. We can decide to rate now, which would send us to the Google Play Store entry, we can say no thanks to not see this dialog again, or we can click Remind Me Later, which shows this dialog again a couple of days later. This is more intrusive than a rate me button, but it's also much more likely that the user will actually leave a rating. And the easiest way to implement this is with a third party library. In this example we will use the Android rate library for this. I will put a link to the code of this example into the description box and there you will also find a link to the library on GitHub. So as usual when we want to use a third party library we have to add a dependency for it. So we go into our build.gradle file with module called an app in its name. And here I'm gonna add this dependency. Implementation. You can copy paste this dependency from the GitHub page with the most recent version number. When we have added this we click on sync now and when it's finished syncing we are ready to go. We don't have to set up a layout for this example so we go straight into our main activity java file. So setting up this readme dialog is a two step process. The first one is setting the conditions for this dialog to be shown, like the amount of days that has to pass or the amount of times we have to start this app before this dialog will be shown. And the second step is then showing this dialog if the conditions are met. We will do both in the onCreate method of our main activity and we do the first step with appRate.with. Here we have to pass a context for which we pass this and I'm gonna continue in the next line. Now we can make a couple of different settings. I won't go through all settings but through the most important ones. If you want to see the rest you can take a look at the GitHub page. First we write dot set install days. Here we can define how many days have to pass before this dialog will be shown. We will set one in this case, which means that one day after installing this app, this dialog can be shown. When we set this to zero, it can be shown the same day as this app was installed. And if you don't define anything here, the default value will be 10. The next setting is set launch times, which as the name implies defines how many times we have to start this app before this dialog will be shown. The default value is 10 here as well, and we will set this to 3 in this example. And now both these conditions have to be met, not only one. We have to start this app at least three times and at least one day has to pass until this dialog will be shown. Then we can set a remind interval with set remind interval. And this will define how many days have to pass after the user clicks the remind me later button before this dialog will be shown again. The default value here is one and we will set this to two. And now to initialize this we simply call dot monitor. And that's it for setting this up. And now we also have to show this dialog if the conditions are met. For this we take app rate again and call dot show rate dialog if meets conditions. And here we pass our activity with this semicolon. And that's all we have to do to set this up. So let's test it. So this is the first start so we don't see anything yet. I'm gonna close this. Reopen it. This is the second start now and the third. And now our launch times condition is met. But we don't see anything yet because our install days condition is not met yet. And to test this we will simply change the date in the settings. Gonna set this to one day later. And restart the app and now we should see this dialog. And there it is. Now when we click Read Me Now it will send us to the Google Play Store and not show this dialog again. When we click No Thanks this dialog won't be shown again either. And if we click Remind Me Later then we will see this two days later. So let's restart it without changing the date again. And we don't see anything. But if we change the date again to two more days later or let's change it to a couple more days later to see if it still works. And restart our app. And there it is again. When we click right now we will get to the Play Store, but of course this app is not on the Google Play Store, so there's no point in doing this. When we click no thanks we won't see this again. And if for any reason you still want to show this dialog, even if the user clicked no thanks, you can reset this with appRate.with Again we pass this dot clear a show dialog. If you call this, this dialog will be reset. So even if the user clicked no thanks or clicked the readme button already, this dialog will be shown again. 
If you simply want to show this dialog immediately, for example in our onCreate method, without any conditions that have to be met, you can simply call abrate dot with this dot show rate dialog. And for the activity we pass this as well. Now when we start this, we will immediately see our dialog. And there it is. When we leave this app and start it again, we will see this dialog again. And it's also pretty easy to change the title, text and the button text. For this we go into the app folder, into res, into values, and here we open strings.xml. And here we have to overwrite some strings. I'm gonna copy paste them, and these are the ones. Read dialog title, read dialog message, okay, cancel and no. Gonna change these to tested, custom title, custom message, custom right now, custom remind later, and custom no. Let's test it again. And there are our custom texts. If this was helpful, please leave a like, and if you want more intro tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.